July 2008, myself and 12 companions went on pilgrimage to World Youth Day Sunday to meet fellow pilgrims from over 177 other countries around the world and hang out with the Pope. Little did I know what heartache awaited me. Oh, oh, here we go! The gnomes back at the garden club would be so jealous! Oh, I should have packed more drama, mean! Would it have killed you to poke some air holes in my luggage? Steady, steady! I can't afford another international incident! Inspired by Deb, Pierre the Travelocity Gnome became the mascot of our group for World Youth Day 08. In the commercials, the gnome is always ensuring a safe journey for its travelers, so our group felt that his presence could help. We carried him everywhere to seminars, concerts, shows, walks, sightseeing, on the bus, in a backpack, and most frequently, tightly in our hands. Other countries began to recognize us in a crowd when seeing the gnome, and Pierre brilliantly conducted interviews of many foreigners. Everything I say and do, everything I am to you, oh, I pray that you will know, oh, whatever is good in me, whatever there's joy to see, hear me say, it's not my own Sadly, his life was cut short by James Brangie. It happened on a calm evening. A group of pilgrims stood there talking before final evening prayer, when suddenly James, carrying Pierre in the crook of his arm, dropped the small, helpless gnome. 
Pierre fell as if in slow motion to a cold, hard, tile surface below. Both of his legs were shattered, and the tip of his hat chipped. James ran from the group in terror, filled with regret and anxiety. Then Deb walked onto the scene. It is with heavy heart that I write to you all about the unfortunate accident that our gnomes suffered about an hour ago, upon our arrival back at our accommodation for the night. One pilgrim, who shall remain nameless, was too casually holding him and dropped him on the cement. As several of our pilgrims looked on in horror, not knowing what to do, the gnomicidal maniac immediately ran in terror at the consequences for what he had done. The remaining pilgrims rendered first aid, and Pierre is in hospital for the night. At least Pierre got to greet the Pope in good health. Everyone has so loved Pierre, and so many have asked about him and wanted to take pictures with him. I love that gnome. He'll stay with us as we venture onward to the Papal Mass on Sunday, and we will ask for the Pope's blessings on his recovery. Pray for us all. God bless, Deb. And we have our mascot here, had a bit of an injury, but we'll give him a blessing now, and we'll give a blessing to all the people also of Prescott, Arizona. May Almighty God bless this mascot for Prescott, Arizona, but uh, also bless all the people of Prescott, Arizona. last. Those were crazy times. Memories were made. Dignity was lost. I must say I'm feeling quite tired. Sleep now, Pierre. Good gnome. Sleep. Madrid will be here soon enough. I come from the land down under.